one, going with another one. You know, uh, <laughs> it's the only thing that YouTube accepts these days, all right? So, give me a break. Quit breaking my balls. Uh, regular channel channels over on the other one. I can't even go live on this one right now. So, with all that said, banana bread. I made a rhyme. With all that said, banana bread. So, perfect time to, I can't control when I make this video. These two bananas are done. I took this one to work today and I didn't even eat, end up eating it. So, I got three bananas here. It says if you want extremely super duper moist, squishy ass banana bread, go with four bananas. But, I'm going with three and they're like, they're, they're done. They're done for. Today they need to be turned into bread. So everything I got here uh, should be all you need. I don't think there's anything that's not in the picture. This is not seasoned salt. This is just regular old Morton salt in here. I used all the seeds and salt, so filled that up. So I got my little salt shaker. So uh, everything in here, and then I give the doses. And uh, we're at 350 already, uh, preheated and stuff. So let's get get to it. All right. Going. So first, you want to start uh, chopping and mushing these bananas up. Uh, get yourself a little helper and uh, hopefully they don't make a mess but uh, there's tons of different recipes that are all over the internet and you can kind of pick and choose you know uh, try cut they're all basically the same with minor little differences here and there so um, they, some of them tell you to start differently do this do that but um, we'll start mushing the bananas up first and uh, I like them kind of chunky. I think my bread comes out tasting real good when it's chunky. So a lot of other people like to do it real fine. All right, so I got the back of my hands has got mastic all over them because you know these questions have come up in the video. That's roofing material from work. Uh, in, the, in the butt to get off so palms of my hands are clean for the audience the eggs into the bananas there wow mix it up nice and good And then uh, you're going to cream together uh, some butter and sugar, so I'm guessing that's like with whisk it and mix it all up into like one little consistent dealio. So that's what I'm guessing what that is, cream. So we'll cream the sugar and the butter right now, then we'll put this in with the flour. The people do the sifting and the this and the that, uh, this, this is cooking with Tony. We're, uh, you know, how backers back in the day didn't have no time to be sifting. They're trying to get their banana bread, they wanted it quick. Oven's been off for 20 minutes already. <laughs> So we got a cup of sugar and a half cup of butter and let my daughter film so she's all over the place trying to film the hair but let's go go ahead throw it in there okay well not the fork <laughs> use the fork to scoop it out i'm guessing that's what the cream is or creamed come on keep going arm getting tired yeah Alright, you hold the bowl. Alright, so one and a half cups of sugar is going to go in there. I'm using the good old Bluebird. And uh, so you're going to go a cup and a half of flour. Sometimes I'll make sure you go a little bit right on the dot. Mix that. I'm gonna just mix it just a bit, and then teaspoon of baking soda, Bam. teaspoon of salt, and mix all the ingredients. She wants to mix, so I'm gonna mix until she gets tired here. So she's trying to record for me, she's trying to finger on the camera. Help? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now 
Alright, so 350, go ahead, put it in your little baking joint. And in this case, I'm using the, uh, just a Pyrex. A Pyrex glass, uh, like bread loaf type deal. Right, so I'm gonna put it in I was supposed to butter the pot before. I mean, I was supposed to. I was supposed to put flour in the dang loaf thingy here before I put that down. So, uh, who knows? We're gonna have a problem. Going in the oven. Good to go. All right, about 30 minutes in or so. Check in it on a little bit. I just hella slammed this door, so hopefully the middle don't fall in. <laughs> Bam, and that's the finished product. And so I forgot to put flour in the actual contraption here, the um, Pyrex glass. So we might have some sticking problems trying to get it out, but I'm waiting for it to cool, cut it up, slice it up, see how everybody likes it. All right, it's finished. It didn't stick to the pan. Probably could have went for another 10 minutes or so, but it's pretty much done, done, done. It's gonna be excellent. Of course. I forgot to put the cinnamon in. That's the only thing that's missing. Other than that, it's all gravy. Another one for the hungry.